What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hey Noobs for those of you guys that are new here. And before we jump into this video guys, if you are new and this tutorial does happen to help you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because guys, it's through your support that I'm able to do this. But without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Guys, this effect is much simpler than people think. Honestly, I'm surprised that I don't see it in more videos. But as you guys could tell based on the title, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to change the sky color in your videos. So now, as you guys can see, we have this clip of me dancing on the edge of a building in Tampa um, in my timeline. And what you're going to do is you're going to head over to your Lumetri color panel, slide down, and it's going to be the tab known as HSL Secondary. So you're going to click HSL Secondary, and as you can see right here, we have a bunch of different things. Now what we're gonna be focusing on are these little dropper tools. This is what you're gonna use to set the key color for your sky. And so we're gonna select this tool right here all the way to the left and select somewhere, whatever color that you wanna change, you're gonna click on it with this ink blot. And so we're gonna hit the sky. Now, as you can see over here, if you were paying attention, all of these sliders have changed. And so now the selection should be the sky. Now to see just your selection, you're gonna head over here and you're gonna click this checkbox and this will create the mask for your selection. And so you can choose color gray, color black, or white and black. I'm gonna choose color black, <clears throat> color black, because that's always the easiest um, way for me to see this. And as you can see, we clearly need to make some adjustments, only about half the sky. Is colored in and we need more of that so what you can either do there are two ways that you can make an adjustment to this one is you can head over to here and this plus ink blotter dropper and this will add to your selection so as you can see if I take this and drag and drop and drag and drop it's adding to my selection now there is a second way to do this which I'll get on to in a minute and so now as you guys can see we have our selection I'm going to deselect this masking option and then you guys can head down to this little color wheel right here. And as you drag your mouse in a direction of a specific color, it should, as you can see, right, start to give you some type of colored sky effect. And as you can see, um, it's a bit sloppy right here. So we'll head back up here, grab our add ink blotter and color that out. And there we go. Now, if you do want to get a finer selection, what you can do is you can head over to these hue, saturation, and luminance sliders. And when you use these at EXC, as you can see, right, it will either add more to your selection. See that? It'll add more, you know, if you can make it creep into other colors down here, um, or you can make it sink into less, as you can see, now it started to take a bit away from the clouds. But this clip looks pretty good, and so let's head over and I'm gonna explain the other way to do it. All right, so now guys, I'm gonna kind of show you the second way to do it. I already actually did kind of go over it just now, but uh, just to clarify, I'm gonna use this clip right here of me dancing on the side of another building <laughs> in Tampa. Very risky stuff, guys. Um, drag that down onto my timeline. Again, head over to HSL Secondary in the Lumetri color panel. Make my selection. So first we'll drag this over here my selection mask add to the sky because there we go and I don't want to do too much that looks about right turn off our masking options so that we can see what's going on and now um, head down make your adjustment now I'll make the I'll try to make it hmm. let's go with turquoise ooh, ooh, ooh that played out nicely Okay, and then you're gonna head back up here. Now, as you can see, if you want it to creep into other colors, yeah, see now it's affecting more colors on our clip, more color ranges down there for if you wanted to bring up the saturation and start to make it seep into stronger shades of blue and other things, you could do that. And then the luminance, if you wanted it to hit lighter areas of blue, like now, for example, since the tank top I was wearing was blue, it's gonna seep into that tank top. But yeah, guys, that was the tutorial of how to change a sky color or the color of anything for that fact in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, guys. We have a bunch of new content coming soon. My name is Hey Noobs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.